shocking turn of events, Damian Lillard went to the Milwaukee Bucks, and this makes the Bucks scary, right? If they're not the title favorite, I would be very surprised. Uh, by all accounts, they seem to be. And they are very likely now the team to come out of the Eastern Conference. And if the Lakers have any chance of winning the NBA championship, it's very likely going to be through the Milwaukee Bucks if they get to the NBA Finals. Now, part of this trade, we saw Drew Holiday end up going uh, to the Portland Trailblazers with the intention of them looking to trade him uh, for to a contender for other assets, right? And he is a very tradable guy. There are many teams that would absolutely love him. Now, before we dive into this, first off, he's not going to get bought out. I've seen people saying, like, what if he gets bought out? Now, I am one of those people that are like, hey, you know, don't be surprised if this guy gets bought out or that guy gets bought out. But it's all about the circumstances and it's all about what the details of why said player is on said team are the reasons, right? So in the Drew Holiday scenario, right, he's a guy that is was traded to the Blazers solely to be traded and then flipped, not just for salary filler, not just because he's a veteran guy that wants out, right? Portland, if anything, could just use him and slot him at like the two alongside of a, uh, a Scoot Henderson and add that veteran presence. They don't have to trade Drew Holiday. They don't need to unload him. Uh, and he eventually very likely gets traded and goes to a contender. But somebody like, say, a Valanchunez, right? He's on the final year of his deal. It, you know, they if they're terrible, they'd probably want to get off of his salary. There already talks about them splitting, right? Again, scenario and circumstances matter when you're talking about a player getting bought out. Drew Holiday, I would be utterly shocked if Drew Holiday is bought out. But on the other hand, of course, now that he's available for trade, all of the Laker fans want to see him come to Lakers, and they all want to see the Lakers go and trade for him. Now, if we could get Drew Holiday, that would be a grand slam in my opinion. He would be the perfect complement on this Lakers roster alongside you know, an Austin Reeves, Jared Vanderbilt, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James, stop it, right? Because now you got a legit point of attack defensive guy that can guard all the guards in the league, uh, can go get you 20 on any given night and still defend the best player on the other team. You'd have Jared, Van I mean, we would be ridiculous defensively, right? And he would be a great compliment. He's a guy that's totally fine being a third, fourth option, whatever. He just wants to win and play the game of basketball. He would be a great compliment. Um, he would also be great for the matchup against uh, a you know a Denver right against Jamal Murray and the Milwaukee Bucks, his old team. If we were to meet him in the finals, you could put him on Damian Lillard, and then there you go. That kind of mitigates. I mean, you're not going to stop and slow and you know completely shut down Damian Lillard, but the idea is to slow him down, right? To to try to limit him as much as possible. Drew Holiday is a guy that could do that and still go get buckets on the other end. He may even be a better fit than D'Lo. However you feel about who's the better player, you know, I've seen people split on that. The one thing that Drew Holiday definitely has over D'Lo is his ability to defend and defend at an elite level, right? D'Lo is, in my opinion, probably the better playmaker and the better natural scorer, but Drew Holiday is the better two-way guy by far and would see it would fit seamlessly with this Lakers roster. I mean, it would just be ridiculous. And yes, I would love for that to happen. And if it can't happen, great. Here's the problem. It can't happen till December. And I've seen a lot of people say that they really want to see Drew Holiday and the Lakers trade for Drew Holiday. I would be surprised if Drew Holiday is on the Portland Trailblazers come media day, which is Monday. I would be utterly shocked if he is a Laker, or if he is a uh, Blazer come December 15th when the Lakers could actually make a trade for him. Those things I just don't see happening, right? Now, if for whatever reason you have a opportunity to trade for him and he is on the Blazers come December, one, would the Blazers want to trade with the Lakers? I see a lot of people throw that out. I don't think they care. I think they care about assets, right? They're not trying to win right now or anything like that. They're not a team that's going to have to run into the Lakers or anything like that. Like, they'll be fine, 
right? It, they just want the assets. They get a draft pick and, you know, a nice young player or two or something like that. Maybe they can convince the Lakers to throw in Rui or something, and then there you go. Lakers would have to give up more than just D'Lo to get Drew Holiday. But, you know, if you could make it happen and get it done, I think you get it, right? And from a Laker perspective, it makes all the sense in the world because I think Damian Lillard makes the likelihood of Giannis leaving very slim. But I still believe Milwaukee needs to win because if they can't win with Damian Lillard, then Giannis may still be in the same boat and be like, look, they're not going to be able to get out of Damian Lillard and keep a contender around me and we're strapped salary-wise, so we're not going to be able to make any real adjustments or changes to the roster, and, you know, I can't win here, then I could see him still leaving. And the Lakers will very likely position themselves to go get Giannis. You also have the relationship with Darvin Ham. That's huge for Giannis. Now, imagine if you had Drew Holiday and Darvin Ham on the Lakers. You don't think that Giannis would immediately head over. I mean, even if they win a championship, I wouldn't be shocked if Giannis went over to the Lakers if the Lakers got Darvin Ham and Drew Holiday because of his relationship with those guys. And you know Drew Holiday and you know Darvin Ham would be recruiting him like crazy and be talking, come on, dude, like, just think of what we could do here, blah, blah, blah. You'd have Anthony Davis. You know, that would, Anthony Davis would be the best player you've ever played with, uh, you know, even better than Dame, right? Like, it just, with all this depth, and then you'd have Drew back, like, you guys could win multiple championships, we got Austin Reeves, like, you'd be in a great position if you were the, if you were the Lakers to land Giannis, even if the Milwaukee Bucks win with, uh, with Damian Lillard, but I just, I don't see a scenario where Drew Holiday is available come December. Now, maybe, and this is a big, big maybe, right? Maybe if Drew says he wants to go to the Lakers, right? If Drew tells Portland, hey, if you would for me, wait till December. Let's ride this out. I'll work and be a vet guy for your team and for your roster and kind of work with Scoot Henderson and, you know, kind of just be a mentor for him. And then when the Lakers are eligible to trade for me, I would appreciate you going and working out a deal with the Lakers, right? I'll keep it hush-hush. I won't say anything. You know, that way you don't get fleeced on a deal or anything like that, or there's this pressure, right? We'll keep everything between us. And, you know, if you could, come December, go go trade me to the Lakers because the Lakers will come after me, right? And I have my relationship with Darvin Ham. I'd love to be there and, and be with somebody that, you know, I can, one, win an NBA championship with, and two... I already have a built-in relationship. If he does something like that, then I could see the Lakers potentially landing him. Um, but the problem is, is like I don't know what, like what the incentive would be for the Blazers, right? Because you have teams like, okay, take a, a team like uh, the Knicks. If I was the Knicks, I'd be trying to get Drew Holiday immediately. Him with Jalen Brunson. That solves a big issue you have if you're the Knicks. The Clippers should be going after Drew Holiday. He's a better fit than James Harden is, right? Like Teams like that, I think, should really be pushing for uh, trying to acquire a, a Drew Holiday. Or even like a Denver, right? Bring KCP off the bench and have Jamal Murray with with uh, Drew Holiday. I, I don't even know if they... I don't know what they'd have to give up, but... I don't know. Like, I don't, my point is, like, a contender looking to maybe go and acquire Drew Holiday or Boston. Boston could probably really use Drew Holiday, and they have the assets and the picks, right? Like, if they, there's just so many teams because Drew Holiday is such just a great blue chip, two way role guy that is excellent in any starting. Like, you could plug Drew Holiday into any starting unit in the league, and he would immediately make an impact. I mean, seriously, every team in the league could use a Drew Holiday because he plays hard, he gets after it on both sides of the basketball. He's a guy that doesn't care if he gets two points or he gets 20 points. If you need him to get 20, he's capable of it. We've seen him do it. If you want him to be the third option, he'll be the third option. You want him to be the fifth, he'll be the fifth. It doesn't matter. He's just for playing the game of basketball. He is a basketball player, right? And, and that's the kind of guy you love. 
He has a relationship with Anthony Davis, so maybe that could be some enticement, right? He has a relationship with AD, Darvin Ham, right? Like, but it just, I don't know why Portland, one, would want to wait. Two, even if they did and they were willing to trade him to the Lakers, does another team just see that and go, all right, let's ham, like, you know, and just just clearly outbid the Lakers just for the sake of keeping him off the Lakers for one, right? Like, I don't know. I, I mean, Drew Holiday, I think, has some leverage, but it's very, it's very slim, right? It's going to be very slim. But again, it's not going to, I wouldn't, I don't want to say it's not going to happen because you never know, right? Stranger things happen. It is the NBA. I just think it's very slim. Like, my guess is, like, 3% chance, and that's just me being nice. <laughs> like, I, I I don't even think it's that many. I think, it's, if anything, it's like under 1%. Because I just think there's too many teams that are going to want to acquire Drew Holiday and think that he's he has the potential to be the missing piece or the guy that really kind of pushes for you. Now, the question is, would Drew Holiday want to go to those teams? But he's never really been a guy that's cared, right? He's been with, you know, the Sixers, the Pelicans, the Bucks. Like, he... I don't know. I, I just he doesn't strike me as a guy that's like I have to be in a big market. Like I have to go there. I also think Miami should go try to get Drew Holiday. I know that they missed out on Damian Lillard, but Drew Holiday makes a lot of sense for them. But they're probably better off trying to wait for like Donovan Mitchell. However, I don't think I think Donovan Mitchell's going to the Knicks. That's just me personally. But Miami, Miami should push hard for for Drew personally. But Anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. I just wanted to talk about this because I've seen so many people say Lakers have to go get Drew Holiday, and I've seen comments and all that stuff, and it just it, it can't happen anytime soon, right? So anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments.